Hello again, this is Joe Barry and I work for Visuality Systems. In this video, I will explain how high availability is achieved via SMB. High availability with regard to SMB is defined as being likely to operate continuously without failure for a long time. Have you ever been connected via Wi-Fi to some server while downloading a huge file? And then five minutes before completion of a one hour download, your entire Wi-Fi connection suddenly fails. And now you've got to start the entire download procedure all over again. Rather nasty, isn't it? A similar issue happens when an SMB server becomes unavailable. Perhaps it has crashed or it's gone down for maintenance or it's being replaced. It's possible to back up the server with one or more additional servers. But what if the original server goes down during a sensitive banking transaction or during some other mission critical operation? An impact of an SMB failure may be very unpleasant indeed. We all use Wi-Fi connections in our daily life. Unfortunately, temporary disconnects do happen with Wi-Fi connections and the file handle that was used for transfer is therefore lost. This happens because the server machine performs a cleanup operation on a disconnect and this invalidates each file handle that was associated with the interrupted connection. In former SMB dialects, this situation can be handled via a mechanism called durable handles. Let's say we have a client that wants to communicate with an SMB server. If a file transfer is designated with a durable handle, this handle remains valid within the client across a disconnect. After the connection comes back, file transfers continue from where it was interrupted rather than starting from the very beginning. Of course, the SMB client needs to re-authenticate itself after the disconnect, but this happens transparently to the user and it takes less than a second to execute. But what happens if it isn't the connection between the client and the server that has gone down? What if the entire server went down? In this case, SMB offers something called persistent handles, and these are available only in SMB3 dialects. Persistent handles are only applicable to a cluster environment when each server node operates in conjunction with several other nodes. So let's say we have a client that wants to execute a transaction on an SMB server that is part of a cluster of servers. When the client initiates the operation, he specifies that a persistent handle is to be created. The cluster aware SMB server makes the persistent handle information available across all the other nodes of the server cluster. If one server fails, the SMB client can continue the sensitive transaction through another server using the same handle. Connection and authentication on the backup server as well as reopening a handle happens transparently to the user. Note, however, that we have not discussed how persistent handles become available to other nodes as well as how the client machine knows to transparently connect to the backup server. These matters are more complex and are not discussed here. So, we have learned that high availability as applied to SMB means that either we do not lose our connection to the SMB server or that we can quickly recover in the event of a communications failure. SMB manages high availability both via durable handles and or via persistent handles. In further videos, we will continue to look into the various features of SMB. Thank you for listening.